the way to the top. But when choosing your way, forget what they say. Focus on actions, don't find distractions. If you change everything, you just lose your way. So don't waste your time, don't waste the day. Forget the other options and stick to plan A. Effectivement, on vous rappelle que notre partenaire EDF va vous permettre de gagner des places pour les Jeux par la Mais si bien attendu, ce qui va se passer, il y aura un petit jeu, il y aura une petite activité qui vous permettra notamment de gagner des places pour les Jeux par la grâce à notre partenaire EDF. Et donc, euh, on va faire un petit test. On a une caméra sur le cube qui va se déplacer. Faites du bruit, attirez la caméra vers vous, bougez, levez-vous. Please, stand up, clap your hands, make the noise, faites du bruit. Allez, on continue, on fait du bruit, regardez, Take My Energy, c'est important. Gros match, euh, vous le savez, dans moins un peu plus de 20 minutes maintenant. Les Français face aux Iraniens, on rappelle quand même que les Iraniens ont fini troisième des derniers championnats du monde. Très très grosse équipe, ça va être un match absolument magnifique. Et vous le voyez apparaître à nouveau sur l'écran, Make Some Noise, ce qui veut dire faites du bruit. On compte sur vous vraiment pour encourager nos Français maintenant et pendant toute la durée du match. Et on vous souhaite une bonne bière qui est disponible du côté de la buvette, Anthony. À la vôtre, à la vôtre. Alors sur les premiers matchs de la journée, nous avons vu l'Italie s'imposer face au Maroc, l'Allemagne s'imposer face à la Colombie, les Pays-Bas face au Canada. Et gageons que pour ce quatrième match, l'équipe de France remportera la victoire, mais on compte sur vous. Faites du bruit Ah ils sont chauds mon cher Renaud, hein. je pense qu'on va passer un moment de fou Alors, je vous assurer qu'on a croisé toute l'équipe de France qui sont arrivées euh, il y a maintenant quelques jours du côté de la Zion Arena, Anthony. On les a croisés dans une superbe installation et l'équipe de France a démontré à tous les échauffements beaucoup d'énergie, beaucoup de, de motivation pour ce tournoi. Et donc on va amener quelques informations complémentaires, Anthony, sur le challenge EDF. Il y aura 10 personnes sélectionnées dans le public, 10 personnes sélectionnées dans le public. Et il y aura donc 5 vainqueurs pour 2 places au jeu paralympique. Donc euh, n'hésitez pas, lorsqu'on va vous solliciter, il faudra faire du bruit, il faudra bouger. C'est le challenge EDF du côté du premier temps mort. Cette manifestation, ce tournoi La Fiette pour Paris a été rendu possible grâce au soutien de la Fédération Française en Sport et l'IWF. 
Et le partenaire institutionnel, effectivement, le gouvernement français, l'Agence nationale du sport, la région sud, le département des Alpes maritimes, la communauté d'agglomération sauté Antipolis et la ville d'Antibes, et je vois les pas. Et on en parlait tout à l'heure, bien sûr, le partenaire titre EDS accompagné de la GFIP, la FIPHFP, Molten for the Real Game, Tito et RGK qui assure notamment en tenue la réparation des fauteuils tout au long du tournoi. Exactement, exactement. Et nous retrouvons bien sûr toutes les images sur du sport en direct, mais également en ce moment en direct, en tenue, quelle chaîne vous pouvez suivre sur l'équipe, l'équipe TV. Et puis également sur YouTube, avec de la compétition en direct commentée en anglais. On vous le rappelle, 4 jours de compétition. On est à la première journée, il reste encore 3 jours de compétition. La Dure Arena vous attend avec impatience, avec demain à 18h. Euh, demain, donc on sera dimanche à 15h30. Et on l'espère, à 18h, lundi, l'église de France. Le rapport c'est très simple, deux poules, poule A, poule B. Lundi, quatre matchs. La personne qui gagne un match a un ticket en or pour les Jeux Paralympiques. C'est le dernier tournoi de repêchage pour les Jeux Paralympiques. The last chance for Paris. Allez, il est temps de se tourner vers euh, Didi Salah pour 10 minutes. Avant la fin du jeu.
Alors j'espère que vous m'entendez bien. On va tenter une pluie d'étoiles. Vous allez sortir votre téléphone portable. Mettre en route la lumière, s'il vous plaît. Je vais le faire sur le mien. Anthony, si tu veux ton téléphone. On va faire. On va mettre en route son téléphone. C'est pour l'entité et les équipes. Voilà, on va se mettre en route. Merci ça de nous accompagner. Allez, merci de sortir une pluie d'étoiles qui accompagnera l'équipe de France. Et allez, je paralympique. Dans quelques minutes. Présentation. Hello everyone and welcome to the final game of an enthralling opening day at the inaugural IWBF Men's Repcharge here in the Azure Arena in sunny Antibes. And it is the time of the host nation France as they face off against a strong Iran side aiming for a fifth Paralympic appearance however with four tickets for Paris waiting to be claimed its last chance saloon for these two teams. Bienvenue and welcome to everyone locked in on the IWBF YouTube channel. John Hobbs guiding you through tonight's final encounter of day one as France look to make it a European quadruple against Iran. Iran though will be no pushovers, no doubt about it, Europe or world bronze medalists in Dubai last year and certainly will be looking to punch their ticket to Paris 2024. France, who came seventh in the European Championships last summer in Rotterdam, won their first two games actually against Austria and Israel, but lost their next five before beating Poland in their final game, 80 to 67. And as you can tell from the roar of the crowd at the Azure Arena, the host nation being introduced to this vocal crowd here in Antibes. Wherever you are across the globe, welcome everybody. Great to have you on board on the IWBF YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe 
to the YouTube channel. Get involved as well on social media using the hashtag last chance for Paris. And it really is the last chance for Paris for these two teams. Number 64, Nicolas Jouancer. Number 92, numéro 92, Ibrahim. And we will now play the national anthems for both teams as we are just over five minutes away from a tip-off here at the Azure Arena. The national anthem of the Iran team, the national de l'équipe d'Iran. We are now around three minutes away from tip-off in our final game of day one as France and Iran embrace and high-five near mid-court. And a great crowd here inside the Azure Arena. The hospitality here in sunny Antibes has been absolutely wonderful. We've been here a couple of days and Everyone has welcomed us in fantastically as we look at the lineup starting with Iran. And the big uh, name there is number seven, Fahed Dolomazad, who last appeared for Iran at the Rio 2016 Paralympics. He returns to the international setup as Iran look to punch their tickets to the Paris 2024 Paralympics. And he will start on the bench for Iran tonight. And for the host nation, France, lots of big names there. And of course, disappointed in coming seventh at the European Para Championships in Rotterdam last summer and eager to make amends in front of their home audience. Here, starting with tonight's tough matchup against Iran. France will be starting with Remy Bale. 
Audrey Caillot, Christophe Callier, Jerome Duron, and Nicolas Jancet. And for Iran, Amareza Amadadi, Mohamed Nezad, Mosan Tamadash, and Morteza Abadi. As said by Golamazad, the number seven for Iran, making his return to the national fold. All smiles upon arrival here today, just happy to be back in the international setup after nearly eight years away. And Iran will need that veteran leadership from him, not just on the bench, but on the court as well, as you see France just receiving some last minutes in instruction. And they will certainly be eager to get onto the court. And for France, as the host nation, they enter amid high expectations and obviously a lot of supporters you could probably hear from the locals. But unlike previous occasions where the host team has secured automatic qualification to the Paralympics, France now faces the challenge of having to earn their spot in the Games, of course, due to the reduction in the number of teams. But France has a rich history on the world international stage, exemplified by their silver medal in the 2010 World Championships. And they'd like nothing more than to be in their own backyard on the grandest stage of them all, the Paralympics, and win a medal in the Bessy district of Paris. So we are set. We will rock you, certainly rocking the airwaves here at the Azure Arena, but it's all over now. It's time for our final game of day one, and Iran will get the first possession as Damadash has the ball. Sayari. Sayari short with his jumper. And the second attempt, Mordessa Abedi puts it in. He had a double-double, 19 points, 18 boards in their bronze medal win over the Netherlands at the uh, IWBF World Championships in Dubai. Jean Serre kicks it out. Kyle, good defense from Iran and a turnover as Kallier was looking to shoot, but had it swiped away and away come Iran, a long pass, finds Abedi. Damadash kicks it out, and probably one pass too many there for Iran, and France get the ball back early doors. Iran up two to nothing. Kyle. Kalia. Had to really reach to get that. Jean Serre in his favorite spot, and that's why. Nicolas Jean Serre, main scoring threat for the team, second in scoring at the European Para Championships last summer, averaging just shy of 20 points a game. As Morteza Ebedi puts it in for his second field goal. Here is Jean Serre. Jean Serre dumps it off, inside it goes, and Bale misses the shot inside, and away comes Mohamed. Mohamed Nezat. Sayari. Sayari along the baseline, and Kyle with the rebound. 
Duron. Duron kicks it off. Kalia, the extra pass. Kyle for two, and that's good. Both teams just feeling each other out here in the early going. France looking to do the European quadruple here. The clean sweep on day one. Italy, Germany and Netherlands already recording victories today over Morocco, Colombia and Canada. As Otessa Elbidi goes to the line. One of three Iran players that play their basketball in Turkey for Galatasaray. Averaged 13 points. Led the team in rebounds actually with 8.4 boards a game at the World Championships and averaged around 11 points at the recent Asia Oceana Championships in Thailand. And he strings the second and Iran have an early two-point cushion. Duron. Jean Serre off the back iron. And rebounded by Sayari. Mohamed Nezad. Nezad's pass deflected away by Bale. Just around three minutes played here in the first period. Host nation trailing by two. Make that four. Great play inside and the finish by Mohamed Nezad. That's his first field goal. After Ebedi scored Iran's first six. Duron looking for Kalier, turned over again. Good start this from Iran. And a foul has been called. It's an offensive foul as Siari a bit too enthusiastic there on Jerome Duron. So France trailing by four in the early going. Have a chance to respond. Duran. Jean Serre. Jean Serre just above the foul line. No good. And the rebound taken by Amaraza Amadi. Iran pinging the ball around nicely as Sayari has it. And along the baseline, in and out from Abedi. Four minutes played in the first period. Here is Jean Serre. Again, the pass deflected. Iran's defense has been suffocating in this first quarter thus far. Six to shoot for France and another turnover. And already three turnovers for France, two within the last minute. Mohsen Tamadash. Mohsen looking for room here. Finds it in Siari. Mohammed with the screen, gets it off the pick and roll. No good, and the rebound taken by Audrey Carroll. And Kale now passing it out, and away come France with Duron. Duron has a bit of room to shoot, puts it up off the glass. And the rebound skied, but a foul has been called. It's another offensive foul. Iran frustrating France in this early going. They lead eight to four, and already two fouls on Remy Bayal. As Amareza Amidi comes out of the game. And Madi Abbasi comes in for the first time, the number 13 for Iran. Another one that plays for Galatasaray, Morteza. Sayari, Sayari with the shot clock at nine. 
Mossan at the foul line all the time in the world. Short though with his two and away come the host nation roared on by the crowd here in Antibes. jean Serre collects it from Carlier and banks it home. jean Serre now on four. Sayari. Sayari for three. That's short. Carlier with the rebound. Carlier with two assists, yet to actually take a field goal so far. Jean Serre will be a, take a lot of the offense from France. Misses his shot. Durand with the rebound, and a whistle has been called. And that's a first foul, I believe. That will be on Morteza Abedi. And that'll be his first foul, first team foul for the Iranians as Remy Bayal comes out of the game and uh, Sofian Mayoui comes in for the first time for France. Mayoui, a Paris native, he'd like nothing more than to be in Paris in his home city for the Paralympics. Chance money. Game is tied at eight. France shooting four of nine from the field as we enter the six minute mark of the first. Like the other three games before this one, it's been very physical, very competitive as Morteza puts in a three. First three pointer of the game, Morteza Ebedi for downtown and Iran have a three point lead. Audrey Kale for the French. Average 13 points at the World Championships in Dubai. Carlier almost had it stripped of him. Over three Iran players puts it in. High degree of difficulty for Christophe Carlier, but makes no mistake off the glass. Sayari. Sayali turns away from Duran, the extra pass, beautiful basketball from Iran. But uh, Ebedi with the miss from mid-range. Away comes Jerome Duran. Again, he has a bit of room. In fact, allowed to go almost right to the basket and he makes Iran pay. And France take a 12 to 11 lead. And Iran's offense just drying up a little bit in these last few possessions as France looks to take full advantage. Carlier driving, lays it up and in, and a foul! <laughs> Christophe Carlier inside. And a guy winning rhythm can put big numbers up for France as a timeout has been called by Iran, they want to talk it over. A positive start, especially on the defensive end from Iran, but France seem to have figured it out, settled into their rhythm, and right now a good spell from the host, and it's a good timeout from Iran. As they trail 14 to 11, possibility that it might be 15-11 after this timeout, well, it's great to have you on board on the IWBF YouTube channel. Let us know in the comments where you are, where you're watching, who you're supporting. Get involved on social media using the hashtag Last Chance for Paris. Big thank you to our partners, the organizers, of course, the IWBF, Handy Sport. Lots of institutional partners as well and official partners including EDF, Moulton, Tissot and RGK so many partners so many people invested in wheelchair basketball and it's great to be a part of such a fantastic event and we're just getting started as the last chance for Paris. 
is getting underway here along the French Riviera. Of course, following on from this repechage, we have the women's repechage taking place later on in the week in Osaka, Japan, or next week, excuse me, in Osaka, Japan. As Siari goes all the way under the basket, dubs it off, the feed to Madi Abassi. Mosan collects it. Rims unforgiving at the moment, but at the third attempt, Siari puts it in. And the noise, the enthusiasm sucked out of the air there following that basket, but France on the attack again with Maui. Inside, it goes to Kale, and Kale's mid-range shot is no good. jean Serre has it. jean Serre, no hesitation. He's also short. On the follow was Duran, and Iran finally get hold of it. And away come the Iranians, two on two. Mosan inside, gets it to go. Great transition basketball from Iran. And more. Mosan Tamadash just... Looking at grimacing a little bit there. I don't know if he was off balance when he took that shot. As Mayowee has it, dumps it off to Jean Serre. Here is Kale. Seven on the shot clock for Kale. That's short off to the left. And again, Iran come away with it. The Siari will slow it down and wait for his brothers to turn up. Siari. Mosan. Mosan Tamadash. Going along the baseline, driving. Montessa Rabidi misses the two, too strong. Sayari has it as we enter the final minute of the first period. Iran up by one, recovered well, following the positive spell from the host nation. Kale. jean Serre, two Iranian players for company. He misses the layup. That was a tough shot, it's a good defense from Iran. Possible two for one here for Iran to end the first period. And the bucket and one. Score there from Montesa Abidi. Surrounded by two French players, virtually sandwiched in between, but makes no mistake inside. Abidi. Now the first player of the game to reach double figures. He has 11, and France have called a timeout with 22.5 seconds remaining in the first. Iran with a 17 to 14 advantage. Great to have you all on board on the IWBF YouTube channel. Also great to have the uh, legend that is Dylan Cummings on the uh, on the comment section. He's actually here in on team. It was great to catch up with him earlier on today. As you see the French team had a good spell in the midway point of the first period, but kind of went off the radar a little bit, allowed Iran back into it. Iran's starting off very well, especially on the defensive end, and they've did dry up a little bit offensively after a good start, but are now making some inroads, and a quick 6-0 run has given them a three-point advantage. Tessa Abedi misses the resulting free throw. Shot clock has been turned off, so Sofia Mayoui brings it up. Here is Jean Serre. Final seconds of the first. Duran, the extra pass to Kale. Here is Mayoui. Mayoui finds a bit of room, got to put up something, and the ball will go out of bounds. One pass too many for Lebleu. 
And that ends the first period where Iran are playing party poopers right now. They lead 17 to 14. Morteza Ebedi with 11 points for Iran. Nicolas Jancer has six to pace France right now. But a fairly even first quarter, except for obviously the main statistic of them all, the scoreline. France shooting 38% from the field. In fact, both teams shooting 38% from the field. Probably the most, or the more telling statistic in a fairly even first period is that uh, Iran have gone to the line three times as opposed to just once from France. Iran making two of those three attempts. As we see highlights of the first quarter, a physical first quarter to begin with. Both teams opting to go inside to their strengths. Iran with a couple of fast break points as well. And as you see, Mortessa Ebedi, the only three-pointer of the first quarter from the wing. But you see there the defense from Iran not letting you get an inch. And the skilled and one good defense, but better offense there from Ebedi, who has 11 points. He has 11, Iran have 17. They have a three-point lead entering the second period here at the Azure Arena. The inaugural Repcharge tournament hosted by the IWBF. As we enter the road to Paris 2024's Paralympics at the Bercy Arena as a jean with the first score in the second period. Also a couple of French players from Paris. They'd like nothing more than to be in a home Paralympics. Madi blocked from behind by Mayoui. Mossan though has it for Iran, and Mayoui with the rebound. And then in transition, Jean Serre is all alone. Merci. <laughs> Nicolas Jean Serre now moves on to 10. Mossan. Mossan Tabadash to Siari. Great pass, great finish. Every time France get ahead of head of steam, a little bit of a bit of rhythm, Iran kill it immediately. Jean Serre from the elbow, money. <laughs> Mossan. Sayani back to Mossan from the foul line. Madi Abassi. And the shot there, no good. And on the follow was Sayari. Abedi with the miss. And Sayari cleans it up. Mayoui. Mayoui waiting for his teammates to catch up. Here is Kayol. Lobs it to Jean Serre. Jean Serre, across it goes. Back to Mayoui. Mayoui finds a bit of room inside. Instead, kicks it out. Four to shoot for France. Carlier, money. Christophe Carlier now moves on to six. Nearly a foul at mid-court there. There's wheelchairs all over the show. As Mossan has it. Inside it goes. And Ebedi misses. Gets it the second attempt. And Iran going blow for blow here with the host nation. Kaliev from the foul line. That's off the back iron. And Iran now with a chance to extend their lead further, but not like that, they're not. Kaliev with the steal. Jean Serre inside, but comes out. Fadeaway shot for 
Jean-Saint no good. Ball being battered around like a hot potato and Iran come away with it. It's one on one. Mohamed will slow it down. Mohamed Nezat to Sayari. Sayari over Jean Serre. Foul has been called. And Sayari will go to the line for two. Averaged 16 points. Close to nine rebounds, four assists at the recent Asia Oceana Championships in Thailand. Best showing for Sayoli without question. 22 points, 15 rebounds, four assists in a group game against Japan. Also played incredibly well in the gold medal game against Australia, but coming up short in a bruising encounter with Australia losing 53-51. They trail by as many as 11 points in that final. So 20 to nine first period, but they stormed back and gave Australia a real encounter in the final seconds, missing out agonizingly, but leading them here to the repcharge in Antibes. Carlier inside, and the ball will go out of bounds, and it'll be an Iran ball, 6.28 remaining in the half and a very closely fought encounter thus far. As said, both teams trading blows left, right here. Just a question of who can make that first big run. Sayari at the elbow finds, what a pass that is. And no, he didn't finish it. Great pass, great find from Mosa and Tamadash. But away come France with Duron. And Maui slows it down. Still a lot of time on the shot clock for France. Collier. Maui. Sofiane Maui, no good. And again, Iran playing that transition basketball. Abassi. And Mosan. Inside it goes. And Mortesa Ebedi will go to the foul line. Bit of frustration from the Iran number 33. Believes he could have got that. Was under pressure from a couple of French players. As Iran aiming for a fifth Paralympic appearance. The team have actually only won one medal, and that was at the uh, World Championships in Dubai when they beat the Netherlands in an unforgettable bronze medal game. A fantastic moment for this nation. And a great experience in Dubai, which was pretty much what everyone that was involved in that tournament was saying. How much they enjoyed it, how fun it was, how competitive the games were. Mayoui. Mayoui goes inside, dancing his way, but misses the two. Carlier with the loose change and gets it to go. And again, Iran opting to play the long ball. Mohamed inside. Mohamed too strong. Good defense there from Mayoui, but Iran still have it. Madi Abassi inside it goes. And again, a foul has been called on the floor. As Mohamed Nezad was heavily involved. Game tied at 24, 4.52 remaining in the half. And Mohamed Reza Daistra, the Iran coach, just receiving a warning there from the uh, officials. Referees tonight, Matthias Quintana, Patricia Calabrero, and Zai Zanding. Sayari, 10 to shoot for Iran. Inside it goes, good defense from France. 
And again, Iran get the offensive board. Ball again being batted away. And at the third attempt, the finish there from Madi Abassi. And a steal there as well. The ball goes out of bounds. Play getting very scrappy. Iran making life very difficult for Lebler. And the vocal crowd that we saw in the first quarter has gone silent here. They know they're in a game here. Motesa Abidi, Madi Abassi, no. But again, Iran get the offensive board. But Iran can't execute offensively. Nine offensive rebounds. Inside, a strong foul there. And it will be an unsportsmanlike. Referee took his time to think about it. As Sophia Mayoui was driving to the hoop. So France will get foul shots and possession with 4.06 remaining in the half. Sophia Mayoui, main playmaker for this French team. Had a fantastic European Para Championships on an individual level. Of course, France finishing seventh. Winning their first two games against Austria and Israel, but lost their next five before defeating a veteran Poland side. Of course, France, due to the uh, new reduction in number of teams, having to earn their spot in the Paralympics. Normally, obviously, the French would have qualified as host nation. Eight teams will take part in the Paralympics as Jean Serre along the baseline strings one. And again, Iran in transition, looking to break, but have to slow down as France are wise to that. Mortesa Labadi misses the two, and away comes Jean Serre. John Sey with only his second rebound thus far has 12 points, has 14 points. Excuse me, as Alain Le Bleu rings around the Azure Arena. John Sey make that 16 points. France now with a three point lead. Moss Santamadash, and a foul has been called away from the ball. That was under the basket. Eager-eyed referees making a good call there. And the foul is on Nicolas Janser. That will be his second foul of the game. The France number 64. Sophia Mayoui just getting some instruction from coach Bonneron. And into the game for the first time, Valed Gomazad. As Sayari looks to repay the favour from the pass, but misses the two. Away comes Mayoui. Mayoui, head of steam, puts up an elbow shot. That's short. Rebound, KO. And Gomazad the rebound. Eight years away from the international stage. And an offensive foul has been called. So France will get the ball back. 2.41 remaining in the half. And uh, the host nation lead by three in a low-scoring first half. Pretty much how most games have gone here today. But the action has been intense. It's been physical. Again, it's just all, all about who can have that first big run. These two teams evenly matched thus far. As uh, in and out, Mayowi for three. Golomazad. Golomazad looking for options here. 
Morteza. Morteza Abedi with the baseline shot. That's long. Rebounded John Serre. Snapped that ball right out of thin air. That was mine, he said. Here is John Serre. Round the back. Bit of fanciness here to John Serre's game, but decides to slow it down. Eight to shoot. John Serre will take it anyway. That's short. And the ball will go out of bounds, and Iran can breathe a sigh of relief. One forty-five remaining in the half. Despite the slender lead, it's been fairly even thus far. Just really what we'd expect from a game between these two sides. Very heavily skilled and veteran teams. Sayani, Sayani from six feet gets it to go off the window. Every time Iran end a mini French run, the air just gets sucked out from this home crowd who are enjoying themselves here at the Azure Arena. Always good when a bit of Queen comes on. Kalia. Mayowi. Mayowi thought about the three, decides to go a bit closer to the basket. Traded a good shot for a better shot, but missed it. Kalia over three Iran players, doesn't go, and the ball batted around and straight to coach Frank Bonneron's hands. And Iran get the ball back with 47.4 remaining. Sayari, Mohamed Hassan Sayari, another Galatasaray player. Golem Massad. Golem Massad with the pass. And the finish from Montessa Ebedi, who now has 16 points has just over half of Iran's points so far in this first half. Mayowi, Kaol. Kaol looking at the shot clock, decides to shoot it, and that's why. All the confidence in the world. Audrey Kaol, who now moves on to four points on two for five shooting. 2.9 seconds remaining in the half. And Iran, who've thrown the launcher a few times in this these first two quarters looks like they might be doing the same thing again as 19 year old Abdul Fazl Jalal comes into the game for the final seconds of the half played at the world championships in Dubai young man with a great future ahead of him and pass dispossessed by Mayowi who puts up a Half court heave, still a bit of time, but it comes up nothing but air. And then ends the first half of action here at the Azure Arena. And France, who've trailed a few times in this game, biggest lead for either team has been just four points, which tells you the tale of the tape. Lead Iran 31 30, 40% from the field, 16 points by Nicolas Joncer, and they take a slender sliver of an advantage over Iran, who are led by 16 points from Mortessa Abedi. Abedi shooting six for 14 from the field, and here are two of his 16 right there, Joncer with two of his 16, dead-eye shooter, Nicolas Joncer. It would have been a competitive, physical first half of action. Both teams wanting to be in Paris so bad. And leaving it out all on the line. But it is half time here along the French Riviera. And France have a 31-30 lead over Iran. And
On a un fauteuil en mode Mad Max, je crois, Anthony. Hein. Mad Max est parmi nous pour ce fauteuil orange là. Elle a dégommé tous les plots. Ah 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 Oh, on y a cru On y a vraiment cru Et je crois, Anthony, qu'on peut applaudir l'ensemble des parties pour les parties du monde du challenge de Effectivement, bravo. Bravo à tous les, les participants. Et on va laisser maintenant les joueurs continuer leur échauffement de la mi-temps. Exact. Dans quelques minutes, nous reviendrons avec vous dans moins de 10 minutes. Et maintenant, c'est le temps de la pub pour nos partenaires ici à l'Azur. Arrête. Mettre un pied devant l'autre ou simplement s'y mettre, ça ne demande pas beaucoup d'efforts, juste un peu de motivation. Allez, attends. 5 minutes, c'est un bon début. On est déjà fiers. Fiers d'avoir commencé, d'avoir choisi de prendre les escaliers. 10 minutes, ça marche aussi en nageant, en marchant, en courant sans destination, chez soi, dans le jardin, sur le sable ou simplement en allant chercher ses bras. 20 minutes, bouger pour soi, bouger avec les autres, en famille, à l'école, au travail. Peu importe, nous en sommes. 30 minutes, c'est fait, ça fait du bien, ça te fera peut-être pas nous des athlètes. Mais ce qui compte, c'est notre bien-être, ces sensations, ces émotions qui nous font vibrer. Et si on recommençait, bouge 30 minutes chaque jour.
Allez, dans le monde des 8h30, nous allons prendre un switch en face à l'équipe de France dans le cadre de la Change for Paris. Qualification pour les Jeux de la Paralympique de Paris 2024. Ensemble également demain dimanche et lundi avec l'équipe de France, mais pas que. Welcome back to the Azure Arena here in Antibes, sandwiched between Kern and Nice on the French Riviera. As the host nation France lead Iran 31-30 in our final game of the first day here in the inaugural Repcharge tournament. As the final four teams will book their place for the Paris 2024 Paralympics. It is the last chance for Paris. John Hobbs guiding you through the action here in the second half. Welcome to everyone who have just joined us or are still tuned in on the IWBF YouTube channel. Get your comments in, let us know where you are in the world, who you're supporting. Great to see Iran fans on the YouTube chat as well as the usual suspects as well. As we are moments away from the third period, Iran out-rebounding France 29 to 21 and have scored 10 second chance points. But France's slightly higher field goal percentage, 39% from the field as opposed to 34% making the difference thus far. Iran have hit the only three-pointer so far, combined one of five from downtown for both teams. But other than that, it's fairly even either way as we get set for the third period. France just receiving some last second instructions as they aim to send the home crowd here at the Azure Arena happy with a win. France as well, as mentioned at the top of the broadcast, looking to complete the European quadruple in day one. Italy getting the win over Morocco earlier. Germany's strong third quarter lifting them to victory over Colombia and the Netherlands defeating Canada. So third quarter is underway. Siari has it for Iran. Inside, good pass, but the finish was not wanting there from Golomazad. Shot clock no reset to 14. Here is Golem Assad again, jean rebounds, nearly stolen away there from him by Jalel. The As Kale misses the baseline shot. And away come Iran, looking for the first score of this third quarter. And the finish again from Golem Assad is off and under the basket all alone is a thankful Christoph Kallier. Gola Massad, who plays his basketball in Germany for the Thuranga Balls. Inside it goes to Mortesa Abedi who misses the Two misses everything, in fact. Jean Serre picks up the loose change. Mayowi, the playmaker looking to deliver some magic, kicks it to Jean Serre. Jean Serre, nice pass inside. Durham is blocked by Golem Assad. First block for Valid Golem Assad, and here he is on the ball again. And Collides with Duron, no foul given, and here is Jean Serre. Two on two here. 
Iran get back, jean puts in a two. Eighteen for jean -Serre. Second in scoring at the European Championships in Rotterdam, looking to make his mark in Antibes. Seari. Mohamed Hassan Seari driving to the hoop. Jean Serre for company goes up too strong. Jean Serre and Seari were fighting for it. France get the ball back. Substitutions coming in for Iran. Hakim Mansouri coming into the game for the first time, the number 11. Mohamed Nejad also checking in. And Iman Bagzadafad comes in as well for the first time, the number 15. Mayowi. Maybe we thought about the three, instead selects to go a bit closer to the hoop. jean Serre fading away. No good. Kale with the... Duran, sorry, with the rebound. There is Kale. And Kale is money. Hakim Mansouri, here is Nezad. And Abassi, Abassi lobs it to Bagzadafad, who kicks it out. The extra pass to Siali, shot clock at three. They've got to put up something, Iran. Agonizingly falls short from Mohamed Nesad. And away comes Duran. Duran, the whistle has gone, a foul called at the top of the key. That's a first foul on Iman Bagzadadafad. jean Serre. jean Serre three. Cash. Big three from the wing for Nicolas jean Serre. And it's now a ten point advantage. First double digit lead of the game, Mansouri, Sayari, Sayari looking to respond, off the glass, no good, Collier the rebound, here is Mayowi, it's one on three, Mayowi goes inside and an unsportsmanlike foul called on Akim Mansouri, he thought it was all ball as well. Sophia Mayowi though, will go to the line and France will have possession back. 5.52 remaining. And thus far in this third period, it has been all France. A 9-0 start for Le Bleu. As Iran now coming on to four minutes without a score. And a wise timeout as they look for some inspiration, someone to ignite a good spell. Because right now, the crowd here at the Azure Arena having some fun. And France's players are because of that. Along with the uh, coverage on the YouTube channel, get involved as well on the social media, Instagram, X, Facebook, anything that you're a part of. Let us know where you are, what you're watching, or how you're watching, excuse me, and who you're supporting. And don't forget to use the hashtag last chance for Paris as Mayoi from Paris, would like nothing more than to be in a hometown Paralympics. 
Ibrahim Garassi, another Paris native, on the bench for France. Jean Serre. Jean Serre looking for options. Five to shoot for Le Bleu. Inside it goes. That's a tough finish from Collier. High degree of difficulty. And a back to the basket, but he makes it count. Madi Abassi. Siari. Iran needs something, anything right now. Abbasi, inside it goes, that'll do. Finish from Sayari. He now moves on to 10, 5 of 12 from the field for Mohamed Hassan Sayari. Jean Serre for three, nearly got it to go. Sayari with the rebound, that's rebound number nine for him. Learning with a triple-double here. Abassi, Abassi as Mohamed Nejad misses the pass. Bit of a miscommunication there, and away come Le Bleu, leading by 11. And no good there with the two from Jean Serre. Bagshad Adafad, the number 15, had the rebound, but they swatted away. Let Iran get another bite of the cherry here. Mansouri and Nejad combining to get it over the timeline. Siari. Siari with some space, doesn't get it to go. Bagshad Adafad, he misses as well. Another offensive rebound for the Iranians and a finish from Abbasi. 14, excuse me, 15 offensive rebounds for Iran. Jean Serre wasn't expecting the pass. Under the basket makes no mistake. And in this third quarter, France really flexing their muscles here. Iran with just the one field goal, 3.33 remaining in the third. Bugsad Adafad. And a travel has been called on Iman Bugsad Adafad. And another turnover for Iran. Turnover number nine for them. 3.28 remaining. And the French up 11. Their biggest lead of the game has been 13. They'd like to stretch it further than that as we enter the latter part of this third quarter. Kaol to Meowi. Zinging the ball around nicely, France here, as Jean Serre has it at the elbow and doesn't get the drop. Bit of relief there for Iran. Amareza Abadi, Sayari, Sayari too short, gets another go at it and gets the friendly roll. It was a good find originally from Amareza Abadi and it took two attempts as France looked to stretch their lead back to double figures. It's a nine point lead they enjoy at the moment. Inside the extra pass and a finish from Carlier. 14 for Christophe Carlier. Just short of 11 points and six rebounds is average at the World Championships in Dubai. Siari. Siari found a bit of room. Good ball movement. Or good ball control, excuse me, from Mohamed Hassan Siari. And he will get two shots. First team foul for France in this third quarter. That just tells you the level of discipline 
on defense. The French have shown us in this third period. And Siani misses the first. Siani has 12 points for Iran at the moment. A historic bronze medal at the World Championships in Dubai, and they would like to cap it off this summer with a fifth uh, Paralympic appearance. Mayowi. France looking to be at home at the Paralympics, and Kale with the finish. Mossan inside, Mossan misses the two under the basket. Jean Serre with his seventh rebound. Mayowi, it's one on two, and Mayowi wants to slow it down as we enter final 90 seconds of the third. As Kale again, back-to-back -back scores for Audrey Kale. Last time France were in the Paralympics was 2004. Andre Kale was part of that team in Athens. Averaged 13 points a game at the IWBF World Championships in Dubai, second actually on the team for that. And he led the team in steals, just under two takeaways a game. As Mortesa Abedi comes back into the game. Amadi, Siari. Nine to shoot for Iran. Amadi. Abedi, and a foul has been called. That'll be two shots for Mortesa Abedi. Who is leading the way for Iran right now with 16 points. And this is the first. Iran with a, a blend of seasoned veterans, emerging talent on their roster. They carry with them aspirations of a nation and a legacy of excellence in wheelchair basketball folklore. They'd like nothing more than to secure their place in Paris in the summer, but right now they're trailing 51-38 and need some form of inspiration to guide them along that path. Eight to shoot and a foul has been called. Forty-eight point eight seconds remaining in the third period. France, like uh, Germany, did earlier on this afternoon against Colombia, racing away in this third quarter. Mayowi thought about the three, gets the ball whacked on his face, and a foul has been called. France have outscored Iran twenty points to eight in this third quarter. Took Iran nearly five minutes to register a field goal. And as a result, they have work to do. It was an 11-0 start to the third period for Le Bleu. Jean Serre. Jean Serre, the extra pass, no good. Collier with the rebound at the second attempt. No good, ball batted around again. And this time, Jean Serre with the finish. 25 points for the evergreen Jean Serre. As Kalia and Mayowi were going for the steal, as Amaressa Amadi was going for the catch. And as a result, Kalia just on the deck, being helped up by his teammate Nicolas Jean Serre. Tremendous sportsmanship 
within the world of wheelchair hoops. Mosan Tamadash, Abadi to Siari. Final seconds of the third quarter. Siari a three. Agonizingly falls short on the follow and on the buzzer, Mortessa Abedi. And could that be the lift that Iran needs? There's a break in play now, start of the fourth quarter incoming, and a basket near on the buzzer could inspire Iran to push forward, make a run and really attack France in the final 10 minutes here at the wonderful Azure Arena here in beautiful picturesque Antibes where the sun has been shining it's been a beautiful day glorious sunshine hot weather and the action has been even hotter here inside this wonderful facility and speaking to some of the players today, they've received nothing but, or well, they've just got nothing but compliments for the hospitality they have received. The fans have been great. It's been a great atmosphere all day, really, inside and outside the Azure Arena in a wonderfully organized Rep Charge tournament. And we're only in the first day of action. And as always, we give thanks to our partners, the organizers, the IWBF, Handy Sport. So many great institutional partners helping out this Repcharge tournament. Our official partners, EDF, the official ball of the IWBF, Molten, Tissot, and RGK. Fourth quarter, about to get underway in the final game of day one here at the inaugural Repcharge tournament. Four spots left for the Para Paris Paralympics. The USA, Great Britain, Spain and Australia have already booked their flights. Jean Serre misses the two mid-range. Amoresa Amadi. Going right at Jean Cesc. Siali really had to reach to get it and gets it to go. Siali, who nearly was, was really off balance going for that too. But makes it count inside. And a turnover. Bit of a lapse of concentration there from Jerome Duron. Very uncharacteristic of the number 26. And the finish from Morteza Abidi, who makes them pay. And some quick scores here for Iran. If you count the score toward the end of the third quarter, it's a 6 0 run, just what Iran needed. And they have narrowed the gap now to nine points having trailed by as many as 15 toward the end of the third quarter. And a wise timeout for France. Just killing the flow, killing the momentum that the Iran team has and looking to just calm themselves down, take their time, execute their offense. Team looking to bounce back from a, what they would class as a fairly disappointing European Championship in Rotterdam. They competed hard, but only secured three wins in total in Rotterdam. But with a vocal local crowd here at the Azure Arena looking and thinking of Paris. 
Mayowi the pass, that's a beautiful pass from Mayowi and the finish from Duran. Four points, second field goal for Jerome Duran. And a foul called right by the French bench. Offensive foul has been called. France looking to start a positive spell of their own. As they quickly broke that 6-0 run from Iran, bridging the third and fourth quarter. Duran. All the way it goes to Collier. Kale. Kale, tough defense there from Mossan Tamadash. Kale, a two mid range. Collier gets the offensive board, and inside it goes. It's missed by Kale. And the ball goes out of bounds. Wasted opportunity from France, and Kale knows it, smacks his hands in frustration. Just short of two minutes played in the final quarter here in our last game of day one. Amadi. Siari. Shot clock is at 10 here for Iran. Shot clock is winding down here and Amadi puts up the two off the glass. Siari off the window gets it to fall. And a really poor pass from Duran, and Collier has to collect it. And an eight-second violation. Oh, a foul has been called, excuse me. Nearly an eight-second violation. It was about a second away from it being an eight-second violation as Amareza Amadi comes up with it, gets it back off Mosan Tamadash. Sayari, four to shoot for Iran, so they've got to get busy here. Inside it goes, on the buzzer and the finish! Molsan Tamadash, who also plays his club basketball in Turkey for Fenerbahce, gets the score. Kalier to respond, doesn't. Rebounded by Mortezer Abedi. Now a chance to reduce the arrears to five, maybe four, as a foul has been called. <laughs> and the foul is on Sofia Mayowi. So that's foul number three for him. No real foul trouble to speak of. In fact, Mayowi is the first player on three fouls. Thus far, Morsan Tamadash looking to drive to the hoop. Amaresa Amadi uses the window but doesn't get the fall. Mayowi finds Jonser. Jonser, Kale having a great fourth quarter thus far. The extra pass to Carlier doesn't get the fall. Has another bite of the cherry, doesn't get the fall either. Here comes Mossan Tamadash. Mossan looking for options, finds it in Mortesa Abadi. Foul is called. And. Foul is called, uh, I believe, uh, on Jean Serre. And if that is the case, which it is, that's his third foul as well. There's Mohamed Nezad. Comes back into the game. The number 10, here he is on the ball alongside Amareza Amadi. Looking for options. Eight to shoot for Iran, making good use of the shot clock. A score, now will that count as an extra? Referees are just going to have a quick discussion. The basket will count as well. Big score for Iran, who can now trim the deficit to four. Basket by Mohamed Hassan Sayari.
Ciari with 20 or 19 points, excuse me, shooting nine of 19 from the field, makes the free throw, big three point play for Iran. Maybe some nerves settling in to Le Bleu. Even on day one. Always imperative to start off your home event with a win, France. After leading by as many as 15, they're in danger of that right now. Iran, the world championship bronze medalists, fighting back. As Remy Bale comes into the game, and Lewis Hodwin comes into the game for the first time for France. Four minutes of the fourth period played. France, and a steal, another steal from Iran, and away comes Mossan Tamadash. Amadi, the layup too strong. That would have been a huge score, kind of the single possession game. Can Jean Serre make France or make Iran pay? Here he is on the ball, looking for options. Nearly another turnover, Hodwin has it. Good defense from Ciari. Carlier looking for two from the elbow, off the back iron. K.O. with the rebound. Hodwin, inside it goes to Bayal. Bayal nearly gets a three-point play of his own. Instead, he'll have to settle for two foul shots. Four-point game. 5.23 remaining. Big free throws here for France. Two of five from the stripe tonight. Make that two of six. Remy Bayal, who mainly comes off the bench, actually, for France, started tonight. Misses the second. Player that can put up some big points when needed. Yet to get off the mark here, and missing the free throws. Mosan Tamadash doesn't get the fall, ball goes out of bounds. Iran keep it. And referees in agreement. The French bench don't agree with that call, neither to the crowd, who voice their disapproval, but Iran have it. Fresh 14. Siari. Big possession this for Iran. Siari a three off the back iron. And Jean Serre rebounds. Audre Kayol. It's getting a bit chippy, a bit physical here. Jean Serre. Over halfway in the fourth. Lob pass to Hardwin. Carlier from the foul line. And it's rebounded by Amadi. Long pass. And Mossad Tamadash. Slows it down. Offensive foul called as Christophe Carlier punches the air. Love that call. And France get a reprieve. 4.29 remaining. Hope you're enjoying the action here on the IWBF YouTube channel. You are being treated to a fantastic game here. To close out day one, Kale short with his shot from the foul line. Ciari. Both teams missing shots here in the last couple of minutes. Ahmadi looking for options. Seven to shoot. The pass to Siari off balance, gets it to go! Mohamed Hassan Siari now moves on to 22. One possession game. Jean Serre to respond and does! Big three for Nicolas Jean Serre. 
Second three for France of this game. Amadi from the elbow. That's short, rebounded by Bayal. Jean Serre. Jean Serre looking for options. Kale inside, Carlier goes glass, agonizingly falls out, tipped by Nezad. And a foul has been called. Action just getting a little intense. It's been a chippy last two and a half minutes, but the fans are invested. I hope you're invested as well on the IWBF YouTube channel. What a game to close out day one. Jean Serre, who hit a big three earlier. Hardwen, deflected pass into turnover, and here is Mohamed Nejad, and it comes off his wheel and goes out of bounds. France up 58-53, 2.50 remaining. John Serre. Looking for options at the foul line. Hardwin goes off the glass, too strong. Collier, another rebound. Kale puts it in. Audre Kale now moves on to 12. Throw in seven rebounds and an assist. Christophe Collier has his double double as well. Le France is the cry. And on the follow, missed his first attempt. Did Madi Abassi, but makes good the second attempt. Five point game. Two minutes remaining. Jean Serre on 28 points. Jean Serre nearly missed the handle there. And a foul has been called. What a game for Nicolas Jean Serre. 28 points, 50% from the field. Two three pointers. Nine rebounds, chuck in two assists as well. Big two minutes coming up. Hardwin. Louis Hardwin driving to the hoop. A wild shot, but he's fouled. As team fouls now creeping up on Iran. Hardwin playing his first minutes in the fourth quarter, but has made a significant contribution. Defensively getting at it, being aggressive. Splits the free throws. And a six point lead now for France, who have certainly got the better of the last three minutes of action. Abassi makes it. A minute and 35 remaining, nearly a turnover. It is a turnover. Madi Abassi has it. And Madi Abassi is fouled, and he'll get two shots. Veteran play by Madi Abassi. Himself looking for a bit of retribution and getting Iran to the Paris Paralympics in the summer. He actually missed the shot at the last few seconds that could have taken the gold medal game to overtime in the Asia Oceana Championship clash against Australia. A game that Australia won by two. And now he has a chance at the foul line. Abassi has eight points here tonight. And you can add six rebounds and three assists and a steal as well to his tally. 
A minute and 29 remaining, Iran certainly not out of this. France looking to open their home rep charge with a win. But my goodness me, have they been made to work hard by a stubborn Iran team. Great to see as well, so many Iran fans tuning in on the IWBF YouTube channel. Great to have you all on board here today. As the level of action has been absolutely elite as France look to seal a European clean sweep at the expense of Iran, but Iran are not going to go quietly as the bench for France roars the crowd on here at the Azure Arena. But Madi Abassi strings the first. Calm and cool as you like. Misses the second. Important rebound, it comes to Duran. Duran. K.O. was wide open from the baseline. Jean Serre. Time on France's side. Big possession though. Carlier. Inside deflected away and Iran have it back. Chance to make it a one point game or even tie. Siari. Siari driving inside. Goes glass. Banks it home. Mohamed Hassan Siari makes it a one point game. One two remaining. Mayawi, a long pass, risky, but it finds Carlier. Finds Duran. Duran going inside, he scores! <laughs> 40 seconds left, three point game. Monsan Tamadash finds Siari inside, same result as before. Iran will not die, they will not go away. Again, a risky pass. Carlier collects it again. Duran. K.O. Mayoi. Nine to shoot. Jean-Serre, K.O. No good off the back iron. It's a one-point game. Montessa Abadi doesn't collect. Oh, that's a huge turnover. And Montessa Abadi knows it. Seven point nine seconds remaining. France lead by one, and they have the ball. Iran still have a foul to give. France are in the penalty. Without question, the game of day one, all four games have been absolutely enthralling. Has this been the pick of the four? Let us know in the comments on the IWBF YouTube channel. Let us know where you're watching, who you're supporting. Get involved on social media using the hashtag last chance for Paris. What a game though this has been. You can see a few of the France fans. Some nerves. It's edge of your each stuff. Edge of your seat stuff, mind you. Get set for an intense last seven seconds. France have had a few turnovers in the final minute. What will they do here? Will they keep their composure or will Iran get a steal? Jean Serre. Jean Serre is fouled. Three seconds have been taken away on the game clock. Oh. 
And that was Iran's final team foul. And Mortessa Abedi has four fouls now on 21 points. As Jean Serre has a chance to make this a three point game, but 4.9 seconds, a lot of time. Oh, he misses the first. Iran have a chance. It's a one-point game. France can only make it a two-point game. And there's just a bit of confusion here as the Jean Ser will now give the ball up to the official. And Jean Ser now with his second foul shot, missed the first. Misses the second. Four seconds left. Iran have got to get it up the court. Abadi, a long heave. No good. And France survive. <laughs> Mortessa Abadi can't believe it. Nothing to be ashamed of for the Iran number 33. Absolutely nothing. He had a stellar game. 21 points, 11 rebounds of 47% shooting. But ultimately and unfortunately, his turnover off the pass that could have led to a fast break score has given France a slender 63-62 win in a opening day thriller as Nicolas Jonser with 28 points, nine rebounds, 50% from the field for the number 64 on your screen. Christophe Carlier with a double-double, 14 points, 12 boards, five assists, also had three steals as well. Giving France the win alongside Mortez and Abedi. Mohamed Hassan Siani had 26 points, 13 rebounds to lead the way for Iran. Who will look to a 22 and 10 third quarter where it all went wrong for them. They fought back and had a shot to win it. As we see the French celebrating Iran consoling Mortessa Abadi. Still a long way to go in this rep charge tournament. Iran might have lost tonight, but they're certainly not out of it. Not by a long shot. They're not world championship bronze medalists for nothing. They will be back. As we look at the highlights of a thrilling encounter today. as tomorrow's action will begin with Italy taking on Colombia at 11 o'clock local time. Then it's the turn of the Netherlands against Iran, who will look to hit back immediately. Germany take on Morocco at 3.30, and our day concludes with France taking on Canada. What a game, though, to conclude day one of the inaugural IWBF Rep Charge tournament here in beautiful Antibes. For now, though, I'm John Hobbs. My thanks as well to Josh Bett for covering the first and third game of the day. We will be back tomorrow. But for now, merci, goodbye, and good night.
C'est chaud. Mettre un pied devant l'autre ou simplement s'y mettre, ça ne demande pas beaucoup d'efforts, juste un peu de motivation. Allez, ça monte. C'est un bon début. On est déjà fiers. Fiers d'avoir commencé, d'avoir choisi de prendre les escaliers. 10 minutes, ça marche aussi en nageant, marchant, en courant sans destination, chez soi, dans le jardin, sur le sable ou simplement en allant chercher ses bras. 20 minutes. Bougez pour soi, bougez avec les autres. En famille, à l'école, au travail. Peu importe, on est ensemble. 30 minutes, c'est fait, ça fait du bien. Ça te fera peut-être pas nous des athlètes. Mais ce qui compte, c'est notre bien-être, ces sensations, ces émotions qui nous font vibrer. Et si on commençait, bouge 30 minutes chaque jour. Forget the other options and stick to plan A. 